Yo, people, welcome back to the YouTube channel. You really know what time it is. It's time for another episode of London Club's Carnage. And this is probably the first time in months, I'm not going to lie, that every single team on this panel has won over the weekend. And I, I know it's definitely been months because my team has gone 006. Um, so we have not been, in, we not been contributing and not been involved whatsoever. Lawless, probably yours is... Well, actually... I think Arsenal probably yeah. will have a, something to say about this, but one of the biggest we wins of the weekend. How are you doing, brother? Are you good? I'm doing good. Of course, yeah, my win means more than everyone's win here, uh, naturally. I feel like, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, your Look at his face. <laughs> well, it's true. Like, what, is, what does it mean? Like, they're still going to finish second, so it don't mean anything, like, at the end of the day. So you you're, I mean? you're gonna finish 13th. No, 14th. but I'm gonna the bigger is the bigger picture. You got see this is what I mean. Like you're shaking your head, you don't understand what this means. The okay. bigger picture, sorry, not sorry. just survival. Yes, I'm, honestly, we're gonna get into the bigger picture here. Okay, and listen, <laughs> just remember what I said a few weeks ago. He who laughs last laughs loudest. And now I'm starting to laugh. I've got the giggles, you know, the, the laughing starting to happen, but I'm going to laugh big time, yeah, because I started this show, yeah, this season. I was in the mud. I was in a tough place. I, I was putting up with a lot of shit from you lot every week. Mm. Now, times are changing, my friend. Okay. It's going to okay. be a good show. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this bigger picture. Um, Tobes. <laughs> How are you doing, brother? Are you good? <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Mm, I'm good okay. to see. Good to see another win yeah. under your belt. <laughs> it doesn't, yeah. yeah, doesn't mean much, I guess. But uh, I don't know. See? I'm gonna take a look at the table. Pots, I did you go to the St. James's pot? Pots, did you go to the nah, game? man? I've been okay. away. Uh, well, I've been away with family, mate. And um, <laughs> yeah, I'll come back literally today, so I okay. couldn't get up there. Um, which yeah. is uh, which is annoying because I wanted to go. Um, mm. But I honestly believed that I would have been going up there. If I truly believe we'd lose. Mm. So I was like, ah, it's all right, to be fair. I can spend it time with family and just watch it at the pub or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and now I'm genuinely gutted. It would have been a good away day, man. But um, mm. one that don't matter. It doesn't matter that we uh, could, could have lost 8-0 and Lourdes would have fed, said it doesn't matter, apparently. So, um, you know, their goalkeepers, their goalkeepers threw the ball in the net and it's all, everything's forgiven. But that's it. It's all done, done and dusted. West Ham are back, and um, yeah, season starts now. Mm. Season starts yep. now. Load of season bollocks. starts now. Four games before the season ends. Yep. What a load of <laughs> what a load of bullets, man! How do you know? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I've got a lot to say. Let's let's start with Arsenal because in my in my opinion, I think Tobes will maybe agree. I don't know. Potts. I think Arsenal's win is maybe the most impressive purely because they're going to Newcastle and they're winning against a team that, let's be real, they've been fantastic this season. They've 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 only they've conceded the least amount of goals. No one had Arsenal to go there and win. I definitely didn't. I don't know about the predictions on Big Six we're gonna see later on, but Potts, does this does this win do anything for you in terms of the way that you've been viewing maybe the, the way the season's kind of collapsed in the last couple of weeks with the results and then you go to maybe one of the toughest away grounds alongside the Etihad and you pick up a 2-0 when you get a clean sheet, you keep Wilson and Isak out, obviously he was unlucky with a couple of posts, but if you guys still capable of hitting 90 points, if you were to do that, I think everybody would kind of have to hold their hands up and be like, you know what, fair play, that, that's not bad. Yeah, so I don't think this result does anything to change my opinions of this season and how it will end, but it certainly has done a lot to give me some form of hope that we can actually be mentally strong at these grounds because we have still struggled. Like people forget our away record's actually been pretty good, but we haven't really done well at big grounds this season. We've gone to Old Trafford and we've lost. We've gone to the Etihad and we've lost. We threw a 2 0 goal away uh, at Anfield, at West Ham. And at West Ham, yeah, well done. There's only really Spurs away that we've managed. To, I mean, at Stamford Bridge, I didn't look at that and go, wow, how have we done this? Like Chelsea are flying because they were so poor. Um, and back then you were poor Matisse as well. So yeah. I think for me, it was going into this game with those results in my head, losing at the Etihad, losing at Old Trafford. And I'm thinking, this is a tough place, man. It's a mm. fortress. It's a real good atmosphere. And Newcastle, to be fair, to their fans, I've always had a good atmosphere, but even though 
more than ever this season, they've been ridiculously hard to to come and get a result against there. So um, I feel there was a few people that looked at Arsenal, as you just did then, and gone, actually, that was a really good result. Um, can that do something to develop this young team? Hopefully. Hopefully it gives the players some belief and some mentality that we can actually go to grounds like this and take up three points. Clean sheet, we're quite lucky to come away with, I think. Um, as you say, had a few chances, hit the post, but we had our chances as well, man. I actually thought Saka and Martinelli should have both scored. Um, mm, I agree. So, yeah. yeah, we could have been even more comfortable. At the same time, they could have had their chances as well. I was really impressed with a couple of players individually. I thought Kivior looked really good. Um, mm. I thought Jorginho was really good. You know, it's a, two players I laughed at when we signed them, to be fair, in January. Everyone was getting really excited. And I was like, look, I don't know who Kivior is. And Jorginho, I've never been a huge fan of. You know, and I was winding Tobes up on the group because I know he's been the same as well with Jorginho. But for me, I thought he was excellent yesterday and I thought he was he was really impressive. Um, so I think that when you look at that performance, it might not be able to now turn things around. A few Arsenal fans I was talking to were getting very excited. Oh, he's back on. They're, um, they're getting excited at the office again. I was in there today, mm, and there's oh, a little really? bit of okay. yes. There's okay. the, I'm not going to name names. There's people that oh, are, I know who they'll uh, be a little bit more giddy that I expected them to be, and um, it seems like it seems like there's some sort of thing whistling around. Yeah, people have been saying to me, "Oh, Chelsea, can you go to the Etihad and do something for us?" Maybe I said, "Have you oh, been? We want you, you just played us. I mean, you just played us in midweek. You know exactly what we're capable of. There's yeah, no man, way we're going to the Etihad and getting anything." So I, I haven't I even, I haven't even spoken done. to you yet. By the way, how yeah. how bad you were, man. That was oh yeah, oh shit, my god, yeah. it was yeah. a shambles, mate. I saw shambles. Tobes, Tobes but, in the group um, chat kicking off, being like, "You guys are actually shit," and I was like. <laughs> We yes, we know. Like this is not new information. So bad, man. So there's, bad. There's nothing Chelsea can do performance-wise to surprise anybody. I, I think actually winning and scoring three goals on the weekend is is probably the shock against a Bournemouth team that are four in the last five. But I actually didn't have you down as winning. You know, I didn't have I'm you down as winning this week. No one did. I really no did, bro. Like, Definitely even not. You was the underdogs. Bro. You was the underdogs against Bournemouth. Imagine Just, that. Was. Just yes. contemplate that. Just think, <laughs> realize that Chelsea. I don't need to. I know against Bournemouth. Yes. Yes, wow. It's a shock win. It's a shock win. It happens all the time in the Premier League. Big you know upset. I mean? Big upset. Big upset indeed. Um, listen, we could... I don't really want to give... Listen, Jorginho's performance was brilliant. It does hurt me a little bit that it's happening in an Arsenal shirt, so I'm going to leave that. But I, I want to have this you conversation. You've the Chelsea shirt a few times, though, Matisse, to be fair. I he know, did. Like, it's weird. It's weird you know for him I mean? doing it at Arsenal. I'm not going to lie. And, yeah, and, and I'm, see, I'm seeing Gary Neville call him uh, Skulls, uh, a Paul Skulls performance. Yeah, that's extreme, man. Now, that now when, extreme. when Jorginho was in the Chelsea shirt... Third in the Ballon d'Or listing and Champions League and European Championship winner. I didn't hear any of this Jorginho praise from the mainstream media. I wasn't hearing this. I was just, it's just the Chelsea fans that were pushing it. Now he's at Arsenal wearing that kit and he's playing that football. Suddenly now he's getting all of his respect. I don't, yeah, I don't really Gar know where Gary, it comes from. Gary Neville is a Wally though, man. Like I, He has gone down in my estimation so much. When he first started, I thought, actually, he's, he's class. Like, he's class. He, he lets the Man United bias get to his head completely and then mm. comes out with mad takes. Like, it weren't long ago he thought Man United were coming second. Now, because they've lost to West Ham, he's, you know, oh, the Glazers, Glazers' fault again. Glazers' fault again. Like, mm, you're yeah. boring me now. Just shut up. Like, where was this Glazers out when you won the Carabao Cup? Like, it's mad. Like, it's, it's just bizarre. It's bizarre. So, so I won't listen to what he's talking about, man. Mm. Car Carragher's stocks are still high, and, and, and Gary Neville's stocks has fallen, is what I'm hearing, Car basically. Carragher's class, in my opinion. I know Toves is a, is a I big, I like it, big Monday night football listener, so well, I know Toves will be able to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but Neville didn't spit on a child, so he's got that going. <laughs> <laughs> he, has, he has that one up. That's a fair... That's a fair point. I'm not going to lie. Um, no, the, the conversation I wanted to have from this game, I mean, first of all, Arteta clearly learned from his mistakes. He, he made the substitutions at key times. Obviously, Tierney having to come on for Zinchenko. And, and the way that Zinchenko got absolutely destroyed by Murphy in that moment, and I, I'm sure you remember where he just got dunked on and he slipped and he looked like Van Dijk doing the splits. I, I want to open up the convo of, of, of these inverted fullbacks that can't defend, right? We've spoken about Trent. We've spoken about Cancelo. Now it's Zinchenko. Is there a place for them in, in, in the long term for you as an Arsenal supporter? When I know Zinchenko overall has had a great season, but you see Kivior coming in. He's left-footed. Could he play in that position next year? People will always be calling for Tierney in, in, in these games where you know the going gets tough because of obvious reasons. Like, Is this something that you can tolerate as an Arsenal fan for the majority of the season next year? The way mm. Zinchenko, Zinchenko defends horrendously like right now. Mm. It's, 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 he's getting destroyed really yes. badly. 
it, it, it's it's a difficult one for me because um everybody comes at me comes at me and comes at me about this because I'm a huge fan of Kieran Tierney. I actually really like really rate him. I think he's he's top, and he's a little bit more old school as a defender. So it's like that's boring. Mm. Don't need that anymore. We need someone who doesn't matter if they can't defend, but they play in midfield for most of the game and they get caught out. But it doesn't matter. For me, it does matter. He's been getting destroyed for about six weeks now and he's been playing every game. Mm. So does it does frustrate me. Trent Alexander-Arnold, likewise, is shockingly bad at defending. But you have to say that for both Liverpool and for Arsenal and for Man City when he played there, it was working in that role. Mm. Now... I get muddied because I, I say, why is we doing this? Why are we doing this? And it keeps working. Um, Zinchenko on the ball is fantastic. I mean, that's an understatement. He's actually ridiculously good, right? But when he's not on the ball, his defending is, is actually really questionable. Like It's like non-existent sometimes. And he gets completely and utterly caught out. And he did it in a Man City shot. I remember speaking to Big Steve about this, saying like, you know, when I was talked about the two signings of Jesus and Zinchenko, and he said to me, you know, I would question sometimes Zinchenko getting caught out on the ball defensively, mm. but he's a top player. And I think that's a spot on analysis for me because he has been brilliant on the ball. But the minute you ask him to defend, he can't do it. Now, Mikel Arteta doesn't seem to want to go with Kieran Tierney because two reasons. One, he wasn't his signing. Two, it doesn't play in as an inverted left back. Mm. And that is the style he wants to do moving forward. Um, but for me, Matisse, I think if you was to ask me what I would prefer, it would be Kieran Tierney. Mm. Um, but Arteta doesn't want, you know, and people will say, but a, a huge reason as to why we've been so good in this tight race is because of Zinchenko. And I would also agree with that. The honor boy is great. Yeah. But yeah, defensively, I have my question marks. I don't know how he's got into team of the season ahead of Nathan Ake. That's a madness to me. But, you know, it's one of those. There's a few players that apparently it's kids that pick it now from FIFA uh, and football <laughs> manager. So this team of the season is an absolute disgrace. That wasn't the real team of the season, though. I think that was the FIFA team of the season. I think the, EA, the, the EA, EA one. Yeah. I just ignored that. I think what I saw Sa- Salah was in there instead of Sacco on the EA one, was it? FIFA one? Embarrassing. Yeah, so, uh, I have to leave that at the door. Hots I, wanted it all to be Arsenal players. No, know, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yeah, You're talking you did. rubbish again. You did. You were talking like, rubbish again. We need again. to get party in there. We need. No, Sandra I didn't say there, this. Martinelli. Don't listen to we this clown. I never <laughs> fucking said this. I never <laughs> fucking said this. <laughs> it's, I'm gonna post the screenshots. I'm gonna post the screenshots. You wanted post about eight. You want? He wanted eight Arsenal players in the team. Yeah, I counted it. Eight, Fucking yeah, and then he was shit. like, "The remaining three can be just decided between Man City and Newcastle." Like, where's this? Where's this information sourced from? No, right, no, sourced no, no. from I... the Race for Europe group chat. Oh, let me search it. Let me search it. Oh, I said, shit. I said, oh, has anyone shit. seen the team of the season? I said it's a disgrace in some positions. How have these players not been considered? And I listed Man City, Newcastle, and Arsenal players. And okay. Lawless goes, "So you just want the whole Arsenal team in there?" No, I didn't say that. <laughs> Yeah, I said well, that players well, like Rodri should have been in there ahead of Casemiro, in my opinion. Casemiro players was in like there over Rodri. Yeah. Players oh that party geez. should have been in there ahead of Casemiro. That's what I was oh saying. My. Bruno Gamarayas would well, be better yes. for me than Casemiro this season, right? Gamarayas was not good on games. Sunday, I must say. He wasn't, he wasn't nah, great. He, he, I agree he, was, he wasn't great. He, he's been good this season. But and you then didn't I said say about you wanted Salah. to take out no said, Arsenal players, though, did you? You didn't want to take out any Arsenal players. I said Ramsdale was debatable to be given a slot as a goalkeeper. That was one that I would think. I said Ben White has been better than Kieran Trippier, who I think has been good, but defensively, nowhere near as good as Ben White. I said Nathan Ake should have been in there instead of Zinchenko. And that's yeah. an Arsenal player yeah. because I think Ake's been quality. Yeah, he didn't see that. He didn't no. want to look at that bit. He just wanted to look at all the Arsenal players I was trying to put in. Look, look, he's bad, trying man. to chat shit because he, no, tra- he knows he knows he knows he knows people ain't got access to the fucking WhatsApp group on, on in YouTube. I'm gonna tr- I'm searching it now. He's searching it now. Tobes is our is um is our Tobes, is, he's, he's Tobes is on it. Tobes uh, is the, on it. The, re- the reason why I delve into it is because like I said, we've seen Trent, you know, he's kind of got a little bit of a different role um for Liverpool. Uh, obviously, we know what he does on the ball defensively. Maybe Konate is helping him a little bit now, shuffling over on that right side, going into a back three at times, Robertson tucking in, which I don't really think he's very good at, but we digress. Um, but Man City, who, you know, everybody seems to at some point get with the with with the with the with the system when it comes to Pep. They 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 mirror and copy a few of his things and what he does. He's he's clearly someone that influences a lot of teams, right? Inverted fullbacks being one of them. But he's now playing stones. As 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 his central midfielder alongside Rodri, and he's playing Ake on the left side of a back three most of the time, unless it's Laporte. 
Um, and there's obviously Cancelo out of Bayern. So it just it just looks oh, like yeah. now that it's moving away from maybe these players are awfully def- awful defensively and now great ball playing centre backs are are moving into higher up positions in midfield and, and he, he always seems to set the trend and lead the way and suddenly everybody else is left, you know, picking up the pieces behind him as as they as they implement things he implemented years ago. I just I just look at Zinchenko getting dunked on there and I'm thinking I don't know how long this can last. Especially next year in the Champions League when you go up against top teams pots like this guy could get absolutely ripped by some of the best wingers. So yeah. I don't know. It's, it's it's a tough one, man, because he's been. I'm not. I'm not trying to rub him out, but I just think he can't defend no, at I that agree. level. He can't defend at that level and keep getting away with it. Like he will. He will I, pay the I, I price. I agree, and it. I think what's frustrating is that there's a lot of rumors that Kieran Tierney is probably going to go in the summer because he wants to play first team football. That mm. for me would be a huge mistake. One, because it's hard to replace someone. You'd probably have to spend close to forty million to replace somebody of that quality. And also, I feel like he's one of the only players that can give us cover and defend. So I would be frustrated to see that. And I, I think it's fair that people question both Zinchenko and Trent Alexander-Arnold's roles in an inverted role because defensively they get caught out. Mm, yeah. But uh, Tobes, what, what do you make of it? Because obviously I know you're a big fan of Trent. Most most people are the guy's a great footballer, but what, what, what's your take on like the evolution of this position? Like, is it something that you're you're, you're, you're seeing in future years and it can continue, it can be calm, or is, are these players going to have to going to have to push to the wayside a little bit, especially Zinchenko, because I don't think he's irreplaceable in that Arsenal team like Trent is. I think I think they can work, of course. I think that mm. they can work. Trent Alexander-Arnold was basically the best um, right back in the world for like a good two, three years. It can definitely work. Um, I think the key is putting them in teams where their strengths are capitalised and their weaknesses are masked. Right, um, I think with Trent Alexander Arnold for years, he had he had Gomez or Matip or whoever to help to help protect him on his side, and he had Henderson in the midfield to help him. He had Fabinho to help him. He had legs around him, so you can make it work. It's the same for Man City. Man City when Cancelo would play inverted, you had Rodri there. You had and plus Man City were a team that were just ultra dominant on the ball, right? Um, mm. And then there were certain, and even then there were specific games where Jurgen Klopp wouldn't play Trent; he would play Joe Gomez at right back because sometimes the going gets tough. So I think you can play it that way. It should be a mixture, a mixture of using your system to protect that player, and then in one or two games where you know you can't play them, then you 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 take them out. I don't think you need to basically. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? I don't think they're that much of an issue per se if you have the right system around them. But if you don't have mm-hmm. the right system and you don't have someone to, to to cover to come in for them, then yeah, it's a problem. It doesn't make sense you play an inverted an inverted fullback who can't defend and you mm-hmm. don't make um, allowances across the other areas in the pitch to compensate for that. It doesn't make any sense. It's like mm-hmm. Tottenham now with Pedro Porro. Pedro Porro, we know he's really good going forward, but the guy can't defend. Mm. And if we don't create a system where he's able to offer what he can offer going forward and has protection at the back, he's it's never going to work. It's never going to yeah. work. It's interesting because like we've seen the tens kind of die out. Um, now you've got these like fullbacks that can't defend it. You have to kind of cater your system around. I never thought the fullback position would be catered for in a, in a team. It, 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 that's that's the progression. It's gone from tens to fullbacks, but. I, I just think John Stones is so interesting because this guy, he can easily slot back into a four. These guys, when they slot back into a four, kind of get exposed. And now thinking about even, you know, maybe Song when he was at Arsenal, DM, but then became a centre-back at Barca. Mascherano, the same. If you've got more of these players that are comfortable at centre-back and comfortable in holding midfield, and they can step up, even David Luiz when he was at his at his peak, stepping in from defence into midfield, these guys... They might give you the best of both worlds defensively and playing in that two alongside a DM. So it's interesting tactically. But Odegaard's got a lot of criticism, Pots, right? And this mm. guy, he stepped up. Stepped up with that goal. Mm. He really did. Is this season a lot... It does show progression in him, doesn't it, as a young player? Mm. I know I know, I know. know there's a lot of criticism about him going missing in certain games and moments and not stepping up and whatnot. But at the end of the day, he put the ball in the back of the net against Newcastle. He is the captain. And he... Mm. He he's made big strides this season. Are you are you kind of warming up to him this season based on what you've seen? I guess 
over the yeah, yeah you've been one of his biggest critics I've been, I, I've been his biggest <laughs> critic um for the last couple of seasons this season for me i i wanted to see more goals and assists and i've got more than i could ever ever thought he would get mm. uh to score 15 goals from midfield any creative midfielder you would say wow you know, when Lampard and Gerrard and those sort of players were doing that consistently, we gave him credit. So he deserves to be given credit for doing it this season. Mm. Um, whether it's sustainable is a different question. I really rate him. I think technically he's gifted to say, and he's an understatement. I think he's um, beautiful to watch on the ball. Um, he's got vision, he's got creativity, and now he's scoring as well as assisting. So for me, I think he deserves a lot of credit. Um, he along with Martinelli and Saka, all three of them have got 15 goals. Like, it's crazy. It's actually crazy. Like, Jesus is into double figures and he's missed three months of football. That front four is is lethal. Um, and Saka and Martinelli haven't even played that well in the last few games, in my opinion. What is Lourdes doing there? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, for me, I think he deserves a hell of a lot of credit. And I think as well, Matisse, when you look at the, the games that he has turned up in... Um, it might not be the top four away mm. games, but the um, there was a stat that I saw today where he's basically scored most of his goals away from home. Mm. Um, yeah, I saw that as well. Third highest, third highest yeah. goal. And he's not taking pens. Yeah, there you go. Doesn't yeah. take penalties. Um, yeah. And he's a very unselfish player as well. You know, yeah. he's one of these players that frustrates me sometimes. He tries to play tries to score the perfect goal or instead of shooting, he'll try and flick it to Saka or one of the others. And I always think hit it. And that's exactly what he did yesterday was, was he took a strike and he's been doing that, you know, two goals against Chelsea, another goal at the weekend. Um, I'm muddied because I left him out of my fantasy team um, <laughs> for Saka and Martinelli and he's ended up scoring three and two. So frustrating, but listen, really happy, really happy. And I like players who prove people wrong. And I think, you know, he's one of many that's done that in an Arsenal shirt this season. Yeah, hundred percent. That's 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 for sure. I didn't like I said. I didn't have you guys winning that game. I had you losing, draw at best, and and you guys went there and and you put in a performance. I did obviously, as well, bro. I think a I, lot of people did. Yeah, hundred percent. I obviously Newcastle had their their moments at the start of both halves, but listen, you know they hit the post a few times. Ramsdale pulls off a few saves. It is, it is what it is. Um, Tobes, uh, quickly on Ramsdale. I know that you you weren't his biggest fan at the start of um his his Arsenal career as well. Has he kind of has he changed your opinions on him? Kind of. Have you have you is your estimation of the player kind of gone up and you're like okay do you know what fair enough this guy's a lot better because to be fair he was playing for relegation stricken teams before this so this is a little bit of a flash in the pan a bit out of nowhere a little bit from him. If you're looking to get Ramsdale prop from me, then I don't think you know me as well as you know me. This guy's fucking shit. Um, so <laughs> we're, just gonna, we're just gonna leave it. We're just gonna leave it at that. Um, let him enjoy his pub. Let him enjoy his his good season that he's had because he has had a good season. But do I rate him? Nope. And I think his true colours will show eventually. Are you serious? Like not even changing your mind a little bit? Like just no, at I'm not least changing my mind. A I'm decent. Not changing my mind. I don't. Do you think he's been care. shit for Arsenal for two seasons? Wow. I don't care what he's been for you. I don't really. No, I'm asking you a question. Really. Do you think he's been shit for the last two seasons? Tobes, man. Tobes, come this is an Tobes, this is an agenda, isn't it? Let's be it real. is massively, massively it is. Like, he doesn't you're, like him as a player. That's fine. But yeah, just I don't yeah, like, you'd have to like him. I, you have to like him, but I'm just I don't like Harry Kane as a player. As a player, you have to surely you have to rate him to a degree, no? No, I, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to do anything. I just told you I've got an agenda. Against you, I don't I thought have to Lawrence do is better than him last season. I think well, he's shit. I think he's shit. And yeah, yeah, a, a 24 year old version of, of Lloris wipes the floor with that piece of shit. Yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> agenda. Yeah, yeah. agenda. And, and no, but I think, I think there's something to what Tobes is saying in a way, right? Because you would, I feel like. You do. Of course defend, you do. No, but think about it, right? This season, for most of the season, you know, you've had a pretty decent defence in front of him, right? Partnership, Saliba, Gabriel, right? Past Arsenal defences, he would be exposed, I think. And I think time goes on, he'll be exposed <laughs> more. We're going to see it, you know what I mean? I'm not even... Do I have to reply to this? Can I just move on? I mean, <laughs> yeah. You know you what? Let me, say this. Let me say this. <laughs> I'll say this. Without, like, I, listen, I'll put, I'll put my personal beef to the side because, I, I, honestly, I just can't get with him being lauded but I do think he's come up he's come up big for Arsenal a lot of times this season I, I will say that I think there are games where you can actually point to and you can say like if he wasn't on the pitch today 
Arsenal don't don't win this game, right? You can yeah. say the Liverpool you can say game, that. right? As well. Um, not it's just Liverpool, not just Liverpool. Ridiculous there's been a couple. I think made. Bournemouth, Bournemouth I when they two, won, when they two did real game. bad howlers this season. I can mm, think of yeah. two bad howlers. One was Southampton. Well, I think it was Southampton where he passed the ball to him and they scored. The other one was where he got lobbed from about 900 yards in the Europa League. Everything he had a bit else. of a shocker against us, though, didn't he? West Ham. I thought he was at fault yeah, for the goal, yeah, actually. Yeah, no, yeah. Fair play. The, the Boeing goal, I thought he was at fault for that. No, I, 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 I saw it. It's hilarious. Arsenal fans, Arsenal fans have like been trolling me for Lloris all season. And I, and I check and see that Ramsdale's made... Third, um, he's made one error less than Lloris leading to, to goals this season. And one's meant to be this up and coming, amazing young goalkeeper in the youngest defense in the league. And he saved us all these points. Lloris is quality, though. Goals, so, yeah. Spurs have been Spurs fans have been telling me Lloris is top draw because they need to keep him, man. World Cup winner, keep him in goal. <laughs> is Please keep him in goal. Lloris he's is so 30, good. Lloris is 36. I, I, exactly, he and he's still killing it. Look at what he's doing. He's class. See, keep him keep in goal. Don't yeah, get rid Lloris of him. Is Lloris is cooked. Lloris is cooked now. He's he's done. He's finito. But he's 36 yeah. years old. Oh, he's really? 36 years old. That, that ends the Lloris Fabianski debate, yeah. Fabianski is <laughs> Why are you mentioning that spot? <laughs> <laughs> Fabianski didn't even have it. The, the, club, the, the club that runs though, the club what the that runs though, is actually, the club that runs though, is actually doing well for. Fabianski couldn't cut it there. He was shit. Well, apparently, us. apparently Martinez couldn't cut it there either. And look at the goalkeeper. No, Martinez could cut it there because you saw what you saw what Martinez was on when they won the FA Cup. Martinez was amazing. For, for no, but what I'm saying when is, let's just put some cheap. respect on Fabi Hansky. Fluffy Hansky actually, Fluffy Hansky actually played for us, and he was shit. Fluffy Hansky, he was nah, actually nah. shit. For nah. He didn't get a chance. He didn't get a chance. He was, he was shit. I can't Pops, lie. Did he get he a chance at Arsenal? Be honest. He was shit. He did. Who, who Martinez or Fabi Hansky? No, Fabi Hansky. He was shit. Oh, he was terrible, man. Fucking yeah, yeah, but him and Armunio as well. But listen, I was then. I was seeing. Go on. Go on. I, w- I was just going to say, I was seeing comparisons in, in my comments. Um, Ramsdale to Jens Lehmann and Seaman, which, you know, I think they might be jumping at the, yeah. the gun I with Seaman. I don't know about that's going to happen, man. This, you're going to get the you're yeah. going to get the extremes. But I think he's been quality this season. Um, I, I actually wouldn't have had him in team of the season, like, madly enough. Like, I know he's kept like the clean sheets and he's had these world class saves and all that, but I actually do think it's the, mm. that's probably Ramsdale, the biggest team of the season. Uh, huh. in the FIFA one, he team was, of the yeah, season. Yeah. uh, Ramsdale, so team me, of the season. Are you actually having a laugh? Was that even a consideration? That was that he was, was in it. No, 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 he's in it. That's what I'm saying to you. He's in the FIFA one. That's what yeah, I just he's said. He's in it in that stupid FIFA, yeah. whatever that's 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 picked by flipping Arsenal nerds who, who wank in their mum's basement. <laughs> No, it's not. It's not picked by Arsenal nerds because Saka's not in it, you clown. And neither's Martinelli. So, um, it ain't picked by Arsenal nerds, is it? So who's it picked by? Then? Who's it picked by? Because I, don't I can know. tell you this too: the, the general, the, the average person ain't picking Ramsdale for keeper this season. I can tell you that. I just agreed with that. I just said that. How can you disagree with that? Alison no, Becker. No, I just agreed with it. Alison I just Becker agreed with what you just. Far and away, what? Has the anyone best listened to this? All of us. The average person is not picking. Where's this coming from? The average person is not picking that scruffy little wanker that's that plays in between the sticks. Yeah, pots. Exactly. He's quite, he's quite pots. tall, to be fair. Tony. Who said he? Who, yeah. he's not who, said small. He, who said he deserves to be in team of the season? Because it wasn't me, man. I don't know when you heard me say that. Okay, I'd never said it. What? Yo, so you really a, this guy really hate can, it, I, can I ask you where did this hate from for Ramsdale start? Like, can you I've tell us the story? Ever, ever since, tell us a story. The thing is, I never rated him when he was at Bournemouth and Sheffield United. And ever since he's come to Arsenal, Arsenal fans keep talking him up, talking him up, talking him up, talking him up as if he's Preserving God's him. gift. And it pisses me off. It pisses mm. me off. Yeah, fair enough. Well, shout out to Undon Bele, who won the title with Napoli as well. I know Tobes is a big fan of his, so um, you know, good contribution yeah. there. Is he? Is he? Is he, is he still your player? Is he still your yeah, player? Yes. Oh, so he's gonna. He's coming back. He's probably gonna be sold. Fucking hell, be that's sold. Something. That's mad. He'll be sold. I thought he was on permanent. Um, he's got the taste of a trophy now. He's got to leave. He can't go back. <laughs> Mad. Well, listen, Lawless, I gotta get go to you next, man. Because, just ignored um, that. <laughs> to, 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 to is not well, interested. It's just what I'm gonna. Keep, it's just what I'm gonna do from now. When I just hear man who just yeah, I just I just have to ignore him, man. Waffler, absolute waffler. 
Uh, I have to come to. I was. I gave him a second to respond, and then he left. The side <laughs> <screen>. <laughs> I left a bit of dead air there, just in case for hopes. But we have to go to Lawless because um, big result as well. I didn't get to, actually. I didn't get to watch the game because I was. I was covering the, the Miami Grand Prix. But I saw. I saw the goal that was conceded. I don't know how Ben Rama was allowed to dance between four defenders and then hit a shot at two miles per hour past De Gea. But that is where it is. But I'm hearing, regardless of that, it was just. It was a great performance from you guys and. Declan Rice was outstanding once again and people are talking about him as being world class and going for big fees in the summer and whatnot. Talk to me. Uh, how was the how was the game? How was the performance? Moyes in yeah. um conference league semi-final coming up, everything. All right, well, I'll just I'll just disregard that Moyes thing in for now, right? Um sure, he's, he, he's turned he's turned the corner, whether you like oh, it or not. He's out, he's out of order. You're out of order now. This is we, out of order. We turned a corner before Palace and then we turned the fucking corner back after Palace. Best thing that's so, happened to West Ham. Let's just David. stop all of this. <laughs> Honestly, just... He wants, to, he oh, wants to gas up all these players, but he won't gas up the manager that's making it happen. Did Go you figure. not see my tweet where I gave him credit? I gave him credit. Give him credit here. Give him credit here. What did you say? Give in the tweet? I just said a br- brilliant performance, credit to the players and e- even the manager. Credit and even, even the manager, even, okay. even, 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 even the manager, because people don't expect it from me. So I'm even going to give credit to the manager. We <laughs> played brilliant. We battered Man United. We battered them. They had the referee up their arseholes, yeah, and they still couldn't beat us. Like we were all over. Them. They had a little spell in the first like ten minutes or so, and then we just took over. Like Ben Rama, obviously that goal. I was on, on the watch long. You see it. I'm like, as soon as he's got those players around him, I'm like, oh fuck, it's there's no chance. He's by yeah, himself. Yeah. He's got like, three players around him. They're about to close him down, and and so and, and he's seen that. And you got you, he had the vision to see and go, well fuck, like I'm not gonna be able to hold the ball much longer. They're gonna close me down. So he's gone. I'll have a little shot. And as he let it go, I was like, oh fuck, he's got that. Like, and then it goes in, and I'm like, what the? F-? I think even like he uh, was. Uh, I'm sure he, he was, was shocked. shocked. Yeah, the yeah, hater weren't expecting it. And like, I, I just could not, but that was an absolute shocker. An absolute shocker. Like, he got, he gets his hand to it and it's the softest. He just passed it into the net from distance. Mm. I've never seen the like. Not um, for the first time either. This goalkeeper is absolutely awful. Most yeah, overrated but, but, goalkeeper. Roy Keane said it, was it two years ago in the COVID when they had played Spurs? And mm. he said, most overrated goalkeeper, he's... Patrice Evra's like, what? What? No, he's not. He's brilliant. And I'm say, like, he's, I was watching the clip today. I was watching the clip today. He basically said, if I was his teammate in, uh, in the dressing room, I'd be swinging I'd be swinging punch punches him. him. Facts. <laughs> I love no, that. Yeah, I remember no, that. Yeah, 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 let's, yeah. Let's, <laughs> not, let's not, like, just dismiss his career, though, because he's been an excellent No, we're not dismissing his career. No, he's overrated, this, I said. talking about... Yeah, you're saying he's overrated. He deserved to be rated, like... What he was, he's rated where he is because what he'd done in the past, these past few years, yeah. he's dropped off. Yeah, recently. yeah, but 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 Lord, but Lawless, I, I think that I think David David De Gea was on, was basically an alien for a good couple of years in the Premier League. For me, he was outright best goalkeeper in the league for years. Oh but yeah, definitely. Over the last, this is since 2019, since since summer 2019. Facts. This is now coming up to four years now. Right, he's been at Man United since he was, since 2010. 2010, I think was it 2010? Yeah, yeah he's been at Man United that, yeah. since summer 20 summer 2010. Right, so we're we're talking about um, like 35, 35 coming up to 40 percent of his Man United career has been utterly diabolical. Right, so yeah. there's a balance. There's an absolute balance. When he was really good, he was given the praise. When he's really bad, he deserves the criticism because that goal simply cannot happen. At any club in Premier League level, it can't happen. That is mm-hmm. that is an honest disgrace. Ben Rama's shot wasn't even a shot, bro. Ben Rama no, had to take that shot th- at that point in time because he was he was being converged upon by the United players. So he knew I have to shoot, and the shot was the most tame effort ever. There's no reason whatsoever that that should result in a goal, and if that is resulting in a goal, mm-hmm. there's serious problems for a goalkeeper. I know this. More than most, because I've seen it happen with Hugo Lloris. I've seen it happen with Hugo Lloris this season. So, <clears throat> David De Gea, is, he's got to go. He's not good enough. Yeah, they can't even keep him as a squaddy. He, they have to cut ties. He's That's not what I said. good enough. Like, this whole he notion that, I was saying to Saeed, this whole notion that he could be back up or rotate. 
Like, bro, bro he has to, he has to be sold. He you can't yeah. even say basic shots, bro. What's the point? It's not no, that, bro. Talks. Especially no, on the money he's on. He's paid 375 k This is what I'm saying. If he, was the sec- if he was the second choice, this is what I'm saying. If he was the second choice um, goalkeeper who, who were with an established number one in place and he's only playing one or two games a season, okay, mm. maybe. But the fact that he's on, the amount that he's on, and there's even talk that he's going to be renewed at this stage of his career, when he's yeah. at his worst, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. Mm-hmm. And people say, oh, no, he's made some really good saves this season. He has. Because keepers like David De Gea are always going to have the ability to, to, save the, 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 um, to save some shots here or there. But when you weigh it up against how many points does he save versus lost, the balance is tipping towards the latter, not the mm. former, bro. And mm. it's just not enough, man. There's... Yeah. The shot stopping no longer is enough to compensate for every negative that he brings. On top of the fact that he's not going to save shots like Ben Ben Rama's shot yesterday, he's not commanding in these areas. So when people no. when people put bodies in the box, he can't punch it out. And then he's he's shocking distribution as well. So there's so many negatives to his game, and it far mm. outweighs the positives. You have to get rid yeah. of it. I agree. That's all right, all right, but listen, 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 dear. This is fucking London Club's carnage, not Battle for the North. I'm sure Matisse will accommodate you if you wanted to say we're a big <laughs> fucking. But it was a big reason as to why you why you won no, the game. You won the game, bro. Context of the game and what what context cost, of the game? Cost, what, yeah, I know, but we're, we're talking about his whole career. Okay, well, and let me wages well, and shit. Well, let me. Like, all right, well, let me let me let me pan it over to Declan Rice, and I know you already rate him, so I'm gonna. I, I know Potts rates him, but I want. I do want to ask Tobes on Rice as well in terms of his valuation and. And how good actually is he? Because I know he Lawless, Lawless thinks he's 100 million. But he yeah, he, he did boss You think he's worth 100 million? I'm sure Potts disagrees. He's probably got about a 30 million, million valuation split between the, between the two of you for that player. But Tobes, where, where do you value him? I, I, I'm not too sure. Declan Rice, um, I think, I still think 100 million is too much, but I think. Nobody can laugh at 70, even 80 million for Declan Rice. Now, if, if if McAllister is going for 80 million for Brighton, nobody, in fact, if McAllister is going for 80 million at Brighton, nobody can say that Declan Rice shouldn't go for 100 million. Nobody can I say agree. That. I agree. Yeah. Nobody can yep. say that. If, if McAllister, it, it's, 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 it is what it is. Declan Rice is how old? 23, 24 years old. The guy's a lockdown defender, a dueling monster gets the ball, can dribble past two, three, four players. He can shoot with both feet and he's he's a he's an okay passer. He's not he's not a good passer, but he's an okay he's a he's a he's a good enough passer to play or test himself at some of the better sides. So mm. for me, hundred million is too much my personal view for Declan Rice, but as far as the market is concerned, West Ham are well within their rights to ask for that. Yeah, Easy. I know. I, I think I think McAllister eighty is kind of mad. He should be more crazy pushing man. pushing further down to 60, 55, 60 max. But crazy listen, uh, Potts. There's a lot of midfielders going around. I know. I know. Lawless is doing his level headed best to try and keep Rice at his club. But I'm sure this is probably going to be the final breaking point this summer before I let him wax lyrical about the entire team. I just want to ask you. There's Caicedo. There's McAllister. There's Rice. There's Lavia. There's all these midfielders going around. Is is Rice? top of the, the list for you in terms of your pro, your priorities? Yeah, he is. Um, I think he's ridiculously good, man. I really do. And, you know, Tobes has pointed out his attributes there. I actually think his drive is fantastic. Like, I've seen him drive West Ham forward in the last few uh, games that he's played well. And from midfield, you can see there, without being horrible to Suchek and Paqueta, it leaves him dead in the water. Like, ridiculously good in comparison to those two. Um, <clears throat> I thought Paqueta was good yesterday. Um to be fair, I thought West Ham were good, actually. But I do, when I look at it, think this guy, he needs to move on now. Mm. Um, I know Lawless won't like, won't like to hear it, but whether it's at Arsenal or not, he's too good for them. Like, he's way too good for it's West It's like Ham. Harry Harry Kane. We were yeah, probably get it is. On to. It's, yeah. it's, you know, he's going to look at that he's and think, do oh, I want to go to, do I want to do and loyalty and stay like Harry Kane has and try to cling on to a trophy at West Ham or do I want to go and win major honours? Because he's that good. You know, Harry Kane is that good. Declan Rice is that good, in my opinion. I saw Rice's performance for England against France. I thought he was exceptional. I've seen him in West Ham games now looking superb. Um, in terms of evaluation, what he is is probably like 80 to 85 million. What he's going to cost is not going to be that. It's going to be more because of the absolute craziness that money's that players are going for now. So if McAllister's 80, if Anthony's 100, if 
I was gonna say I think with the with the year left on his deal, that's probably the only bargaining. A year plus an deal. option. Stop doing this. Stop doing <laughs> relax, this bullshit. Relax, How many times do I keep telling you? Stop <laughs> doing your role. Play your role. Relax. Year think, plus relax. option. Yeah, year plus option. But as it stands, he's not taking up that option yet, has he? No, he so don't have a stands, choice. He don't have a choice. As it and stands. you've not triggered that option. We so I'm talking the, about the yeah. year and now. Relax, <laughs> relax. You've not triggered that option until you until your club triggered that option. He we is will. going to have a year left on his deal as it stands. So as mm. it stands in the summer, a team might come in and say, you know what, a year left. The option hasn't been triggered. Here, you want a hundred million, but we're going to give you eight million. And mm. we'll say, fuck you, yeah. option triggered. Now, <laughs> and can I, I ask you, then. Lawless? And let me ask Why you. Hasn't like... Why hasn't it been triggered? Why hasn't it triggered? I don't understand that. Wait, wait, well, yeah, what wait. are you waiting for? We already yeah, triggered what? Enzo. We, we, I don't get we already, this. We already triggered Enzo for? Fernandez is, is one year. <laughs> we no, already we're trying to see if he can offer him a new deal in that. Oh, like, come we, on, man. We don't do things till the end of the season Are you, are you, anyway. are you, are you not deluded? You're how crazy. Many, how many times do I have to tell you he's no, not no, signing no. a new contract? No, I've told you. No, but I've got this. Listen, listen, listen. Don't worry about that. But listen. We do things end of season. We're not going to trigger it mid-season. Okay. We're focusing Can... on what we're trying to do, yeah? Mm. And look, Rice are you was great. He's le- are you accepting he's leaving? Yeah, it's like, but it's not set in stone. And let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real, right? You're talking mm. about he's got to go and win major honours, yeah? That's probably, Arsenal's then probably not the best option, right? If you, he's not, I'm not saying that it's impossible. I'm, I'm just no. saying, I major honours. he has honor. the opportunity to win major honours. I didn't say that not was with us. No. I said he's got the opportunity to win it. He might not win nothing with us. Major honours are the he Premier come League to or the Champions League, right? The, the odds of doing that are slim. Yes, you, you came close this season, but I, I think this was your this was your big chance. I don't think you'll come that close again for a while anyway. Why? Yeah. Yeah. But, 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 but then... But then I don't I don't understand why you speak why you speak the way you speak because you can you can be so definitive that Arsenal are just gonna be are just this is it, their moment is gone. Even I'm though, speaking on the here and now, here and now. I'm yeah, speaking yeah, the here yeah, and, now, like, and, and the here and now is you are literally like 15th or wherever it is, 14th. But what, you've what's that do with floated the notion you floated the notion of West Ham potentially keeping Declan Rice. But then in the same breath, you've then said that Arsenal this is their chance. Okay. okay, but you want to talk here and now. You want to talk here and now. Here and now, he's our player. Here and now, he's a West Ham player. Yeah, that's yeah, but, here and yeah, now. Yeah, and here and now, he's not signing a new deal. Okay, and but here and now. Okay, but here and now, until someone meets our valuation, he's at this club until Can his I, contract runs obviously out. He, obviously, he knows he's potentially been outpriced by you guys, right? 100 I don't million think he's for, been outpriced. 100, 100 million for a player that plays in the six is a lot, right? No, but he's not just. You're not. You're looking at him as just a player. Yes, he could be a box to box. No, that's not. He's just a player. You're Mm -hmm. getting the captain, but you're getting a brand. He's a shirt seller. He's a a brand. A brand. He's he's a brand. He's going to be a shirt seller. He's going to be. You see, I see him on fucking billboards, Muller Light and shit. Yeah, listen. Um, there's there's loads of people on billboards. I'm thinking from David Beckham. (laughs) There's loads of people on billboards, bro. Who's blowing yeah. bubbles? Using a using a mechanical bubble machine. He's gonna be he's gonna be amazing. <laughs> he's he's gonna a be big name. A, a shirt sell. amazing for the chest sales. Shirt One of the yes, yes, guaranteed. Yeah, but yeah. why did you say it like as if it was Neymar someone was purchasing? Why why did no, you I'm not saying he's on that level, but he's still but then he's not a shirt seller, seller then he's he's a, he's a shirt seller is somebody like Neymar. Or somebody like Mbappe, that is a shirt seller. That's apart that's, from that's K Ronaldo. That's a, shirt worth seller, like, a, a shirt seller, son like Pulisic, who's going to capture the entire US market. That's a shirt oh, seller. Off. Yeah, yeah, no, but no, but he's not like that. He's American, <laughs> and he's literally he's, 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 okay. he's what are we talking about? The English players. market. The English market. Are you taking the piss? <laughs> there is no English. There is no English market. What are you talking about? An English person. Mean? An English person will rep Fabregas before they rep Declan Rice. No problem. They don't give a fuck. They, 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 these pricks at Arsenal are fucking using up all the fabrics in fucking China. Yeah, buying up all the shirts. They're buying shirts galore. They're buying more shirts for the whole population. Is that, is that, by the way, can I just? I know this is a mad, mad pivot, but is that kit? I saw edited pots. Is that a real kit? Uh, I, I, I got sent it today and I'm hoping it's not, but I've been told that it might be the way kit. It looks like my nephew uh, designed it. No, I'm talking about the home shop. Oh, the home, home one. Yeah. The one with the gold bits. It looks fucking unreal. I'm but, not going to lie. Yeah, 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 yeah. The gold one. Yeah, the gold, yeah, the gold, yeah. the home one. That I was thought you were talking I about the away, the away leagues. No, no, Take a look at that. that. That looks like my nephew's 
created in the shop. <laughs> but the home yeah. one looks quality. But you but, know what, like Lawless, let me just say, right, because you you I don't know what your point is here. I don't get what your point is. What what is actually your point? I'm confused. You what do you mean? What you I, t- I tell you what it is with Lawless, and I've told him this all season. I'm gonna tell him again. You're gonna outprice him because there's other midfielders knocking around, so they're gonna have to compare and see if his value for money. Lavi is probably gonna get relegated to Southampton, etc. Nowhere near on the level, but you know, still uh, another option. And I am just interested to see if Declan Rice is going to behave himself after the third summer in a row being held back by West Ham he is, in he terms is. of a transfer. Because nah, you not, know, I, I, I actually agree with Lawless here. I don't, I don't strike. He doesn't strike me on West Ham. I think, but he was, he was, neither was Harry Kane, and then it happened. Yeah, Harry but Kane, Harry Kane was yeah. twenty nine years old. Yeah, you know I, I mean, I think Rice. I think I think I think Rice mean? feels twenty nine playing for West Ham. No. I'm not going to lie. I think he feels. I think he feels twenty nine. <laughs> a lot of time out. has gone. A lot of time has gone. No, I'm serious. He, he he's well. He's well within his right to take to keep it stepping. Remember, it's football, not about, well, no, it's no, not no, about you your know right. You got no, a contract. You, it's not within your right. You let me let me, let me tell you. Let me tell you where your argument for <sighs> age. Right, he is currently twenty four years old. Right, so oh. he's he's way past the whole young player waiting for his. No, no, no chance he's, he's 24 he's been he's playing the premier man. league he's been playing the premier league since he was 17 he's not right. even he's at been at West Ham for a long time prime. you he's are only and, and touch wood this would never happen right touch wood you are only one big injury away from your whole career going sideways and you're never going to be able to regain or play at the level you once was so don't talk to me about age this guy every time he steps onto the football pitch for West Ham is another you, is another day wasted. I'm not gonna. No, lie to you, you can't. You can't think but, about this. Like I might get but, injured. No, I'm keeping so. it 100. I'm he, keeping it 100. He, he might go he, to fucking Man City and get injured on his debut. So what the fuck does that mean? Like we don't worry about this. Injury you can get injured this. anywhere, but I'm saying he's wasting his time currently. At listen, listen, listen. Why don't you? My, my, thing yeah. this, my thing is this. My thing is this. Yeah. Sorry. Before you, my last point on this. Yeah. We can all debate here that. The, the Declan Rice fee ultimately is going to be is going to be higher than what he's worth, right? By yeah. the market, because because no one should be paying that amount. However, West Ham value him at that amount because that's what he means to them. And the one thing that Lawless should really know is that if a club really wants a player, they will pay what you want. And when they pay what you want, he's going to leave West Ham. When okay. Man City then- wanted Jack Grealish. They paid 100 million. Liverpool wanted McAllister. They paid 80. Um, Liverpool wanted Nunes. They paid 70. Arsenal wanted Ben White. They paid 50. Declan Rice's name is ringing bells. Yeah. Okay, so we're not going to be... We're getting 100 mil then. It's good. It's all good. You're getting 100 mil, but you're losing your best... you're, You're losing your heartbeat. You're losing your best player. Right? Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. When it comes to Spurs and, oh, Harry Kane leaving might be the best thing that happened to Spurs and we can do this. I didn't this say that. We can do that. When did but I say yeah, that? Yes, yeah, you did. It's a new when beginning. When did I say it's that? Please, when did I'm I say excited. that? I'm Yes, you said you know, it on... I, when have I ever said I'm excited? You said it on Race for Europe. You just no, made I haven't. Up. You said it on You've Fox just made show. that. You when have I said I'm excited for Harry? Oh, no, no, Lawless, that was me. You said that was me. You said that, mate. That wasn't nah, you he said. did. He agreed. He was like, "Yeah, we're gonna be really? a good team, and I'm I'm excited to see how we play." And it's a fresh. Uh, no, start I said. I said, I said that. I, I remember. I think, I think he said there is life after Harry Kane in terms of the whole team. I said. Just... I said you don't know how. I said you don't know how it's gonna turn out. Yes, there may be. So you don't know how it's gonna turn out. Whatever you said about Kane, put that on West Ham. I didn't say you're going to be mudded. I said you're losing your heartbeat and it's going to be hard to replace him. I didn't say West Ham are going to be shit. Okay. I didn't say anything. Strength- I literally said, you said we're going to have 100 million. I said, yes, you're going to have 100 million. <laughs> but you are West Ham. You're losing your heartbeat. It's going to be hard to replace him. You're okay. m- more likely than not, you're going to struggle. In fact, I'm going to say you're going to struggle to replace... Declan Rice, you're going to. Yeah, but you replace one player with multiple players and you strengthen yes, the team. I, I'm, I'm every, everybody that. always plans to do that, but it doesn't always go And that talking way. about Remember that when, when T- Tottenham sold Agreed. Gareth Bell and they replaced him with fucking all them Sonodas? 12 yeah, shit yeah. players. Yeah, Look, yeah, yeah. Stop, stop <laughs> no, thinking about... Sonodas. Sonodas. I called him Sonoda. Um, all right, I'm listen. Get the reference. Fucking Alpha, 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 Alpha Tori striker. This guy, you know what? You know what's hilarious, guys. You know what's hilarious. Lawless is so good at telling. Lawless is so good at telling other clubs their futures, right? Their destinies. Oh, you're gonna be muddied. Yo, you're gonna do this. Oh, when you sign this player, you're gonna be this. But simple Declan Rice chat. Oh, he might sign a new deal. Oh, we're gonna sign two, three players. We'll be but, back. Oh, we're gonna compete for this, this, that, 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 that. 
Bro, Again, man. you can't. Have I have seen. Way. I have seen a link. Same, um, the same when... logic that you used uh... to uh, that you used to analyze other clubs. Use it to analyze West Ham and what you'll be like without um, Declan Rice. And I'll tell you this as well. It's not just Declan Rice you have to worry about. Paqueta, Reece, the last the last six. Oh, seven weeks, oh the Paqueta actually... you've not been shitting on. Yeah, yeah, the one you've not been yeah, shitting can on. I, can the one you've not been shitting on. Come finish. Yes, because when he was I rubbish for... about my club. Yes, because he was absolutely he was absolutely garbage for for majority of the season. And now over the last couple of weeks, he's picked up his form. Right, and this isn't the first time I've mentioned to you about Paqueta playing well. I remember games where he's played well, and I said, you know what, Paqueta, he's done his thing. But Paqueta's playing well now, and now that he's playing well, and he's Guess what? Checks notes, West Ham are 13th, 14th. He's going to say, hey, 15th. wow, I'm playing really well. Why am I playing for this team that aren't in Europe, that aren't competing for Champions League, that aren't doing X, Y, Z? I want to try and engineer and move away from here. What happens then? What That's do you mean what happens then? Then we get... Oh, just listen, That's listen. Worse. Wait, the f- hold you, the Is there phone. a fire cell going on now? Hold there the is, phone. Man. They're all leaving. We've Yard cell. Beat, we've just beat Manchester United Football Club. Yeah. League... And you've let, this, you've let this conversation get out of hand. You you know you lot, why are we turning this into a negative? Why are you trying to turn this? We're not. Why are we not you waxing mean, lyrical? The the only, waxing I, swear, lyrical. I swear the only team Man United have beaten in the league away from home in 2023 is Nottingham Forest. Oh, shit. I don't think that's true. You know the last time United <laughs> beat <laughs> beating, beating yeah. Man United at this stage of the season at home is not Facts. that impressive. Facts. Oh. Not last time impressive. they were convincing oh. was the 19th of February against <laughs> Leicester when they won three yeah. nils. The Spurs, that you call shit. We were, Spurs that you call shit. We were 2 0 down and we still didn't even lose the game. <laughs> Yeah, but you didn't beat them, did you? You didn't beat them like we yes. did. You didn't fucking beat them like we did, you did won you? One nil. What do you mean beat them? No, like oh, you, you won nah, right, no, no, we're not doing this. All right now, now it's time no. because I didn't even get to finish analyzing yeah, the game. Shit because, team. Speaking yeah, of fucking no, shit team, my shit team, <laughs> my shit team. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. We won that three nil. As far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, you, you didn't. You didn't. You let's no, no. Let's be factual. No, and I think you, why, you didn't watch the game, Matisse. You didn't watch. Yeah, I know, but I saw the score. You won one nil. We had a blatant handball. Right. Oh, I don't, don't talk to you about handballs with Suchek making oh. names in the middle of the pitch. I don't want to hear yeah. about no handballs from you. Move on to the next one. Listen, when no, I, when had, I mentioned no. the Suchek incident, you told me that, oh, it's football swings in roundabouts and it doesn't yeah, matter. What did you tell me when it went so, the so, so don't talk to me about no, handballs. No, no, no. You deserve, we're even. We're even on that. Yeah, we are even. And now yeah, Man United, no. Man United are even as well. No, no, no. Whatever no. happened we're, in the other game. Most no, we're not. Listen, all I'm saying is, we should have had a penalty. He moved his hand towards the ball, blocked it. Ref fucking cheated, right? But the Antonio goal should have stood. Should have stood. Antonio had every right. He puts his arm up. He does not make contact with De Gea's face. It's He puts his arm near De Gea's arm, heads it in. De Gea goes around down holding his face. And it gets overruled. So that's not a goal. That's a goal. That's mm. a goal. Don't tell me, oh, we just won one nil, yeah? He would have loved to beat Man United one nil. He would have fucking loved it. No, but at the end of the day, we battered them. The context of the game, yeah? Mm-hmm. We dominated. I, I said that. United. I heard you played well, yeah? Chance I after chance. I didn't really yeah. watch it, too, but I heard you played well. I heard you played so well. Don't, mm. I heard yeah, you yeah, played you well as well. I heard you played well. well. And, it, and it's, yeah. it's a shame. It's a shame that you played so well, and we've only got a couple of minutes left. We didn't get to talk about it because we were Yeah, so because you lot was fucking waffling on about Declan Rice, wanking over my player, joining another team. We only got to talk about Tilo Kera. Tilo fucking Kera, yeah? This guy. What about him? He's fucking Man of the match. What did I tell you? Patience. Crap. Patience. Crap. No, no, no. Why records, can't you? Why can't you praise no, in isolation? Do you really believe Kara right, cool. is going to be good enough for you in the long no, term? No, do you know why? Because are we Man come City. Back, like Suchek, are we going to come back in a year's time? You're going to tell us Kara's shit. Yes. Or are you going to just say, wait, you, you could, just, you could just say that he's had a great game. And that's it. You don't have to make a, a, a an overarching right. statement, overarching right. statement that he's right. a great player. Because if he comes back in 12 months and he's shit, I'm going to call you up on it. Let me just, uh, listen, I'm not talking, I'm talking to the audience now. I just want to say <laughs> thank you to the audience, right? I'm not talking to you lot. You see, right? This is what happens, yeah. Yeah. They I act like I'm game. crazy. Yeah. 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 I, I don't, I start making a point and they jump on it, yeah? So I don't get to finish my point. So it sounds crazy, yeah? But <laughs> Philo Kura, yes, he had a good game, but he also had a good game against Man City as well. He hasn't played in one position all season. He's been moved from right back, centre back, back four, back five, whatever, yeah? He will come and good. He's been crap in all of positions. No, he had, I just said he's been good. He had a good. He had a great game at right back against Man United. He had a great game at centre back against Man City. 
Mm. So at the end of the day, uh, keep keep him then. Keep him. I want to I want to keep him. <laughs> he, he needs a season. I, we got to give players a chance. Paqueta, you shat on him, and now all of a sudden it's Paqueta's going to leave because he's doing too good. When before you were <laughs> shitting on him. Aguerd, what's happening with Aguerd? What's happening with Aguerd? Now it's Aguerd's too good. He's going to leave. Fuck <laughs> off with that bullshit. <laughs> I think you need to discern what. <laughs> Calling the players shit means, and saying a player is playing shit means as well. When I yeah, call the players no, shit, no, I call no, Suchek. No. I call Suchek shit. I call Fabianski shit. I call Antonio shit. They are shit players. When I call a good player playing poorly, I'm talking about Paqueta. That's what you I'm talking about. You didn't say I'm that. No, no, no. Don't. You did not say. Oh, what do you mean? Don't say that. Poorly. My, no, my, my issue with Paqueta, my issue with Paqueta is form. I've never said that this guy's a crap player. I said, this is, I'm not convinced no, no. by his performances this season because he's not played well. I watched him for Brazil and I've watched him for West Ham. He categorically has not played well this season for West Ham. And I tried he's to explain it. You didn't want to hear my explanation. I gave that? you reasons for that. I gave you reasons What's for the reason? that why he's not been What's playing well. One, one, Moyes was playing him out of position. Two, okay, new so league, what about, what, what about for country. Brazil? What's the reason for Brazil? Brazil would just shit anyway, man. Like Brazil, what? listen, he was, he was he really poor. Mean, Brazil would just shit anyway. He wasn't really, really poor. He had to... Casemiro was playing brilliantly in, in the start of that World Cup. Paqueta was not. And who played brilliantly <laughs> when it mattered? Yeah, one and one. Uh, man United versus West Ham. Right. Listen, we're not here to analyze the World Cup. This isn't it, World Cup. Why, would that, why is why is a poxy game on a Sunday? <laughs> poxy against West, poxy? West Ham, Man United. How is that more relevant than a no, World Cup game? I that tell you why. When it <laughs> no, listen, listen, listen to what listen. you just said. When it matters, <laughs> World Cup versus yo, no, but one v one. What I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. Any game, any game that's not a West Ham game. No, no, because any game that's not a West Ham game doesn't mean anything to him. That's right, he didn't give a shit when Messi won the World Cup. Head to head. Remember what he said said during the World Cup? He said that, listen, I don't give a shit about Messi winning for Argentina because if he's not playing for West Ham, I can give a fuck. I never said that. I said, look, it's nice for him, but I don't wank over it like Spurs, like (laughs) Sir Tobes does and go, oh, I hope he does better than my players. No, I said, I want my, I'd want to see my players win, but I like, I appreciate the story. It's a good story. The players are shit apart from the the end of the day, (laughs) right? The big, the big picture, bigger picture, West Ham are now safe in the Premier League. Which means is that mathematically? No, but effectively, <laughs> effectively, because we're seven points clear. Leicester and Leeds ain't winning three games. No, wait, Leicester and Leeds. Wait, yeah, they have to win three games, and we have to. Yeah, they have to win three games, and us lose three games. Mm. We, that ain't happening. Leicester and Leeds are not winning three their last three games, right? So let's just say we're safe. You know what that means? We can concentrate on Europe now. So boy. You need to be worried because so it's because now we can rest players in the league. We can go all out. Ooh. We can go all out Ooh. and win this competition. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Because you know, let's hey, save this because I want to fucking play that when we win that trophy. Ooh, that, that's your fucking celebrate my victory <laughs> dance. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> right? Because we're three games <laughs> away. We're three games away from mud in Spurs. Yeah, we're three. In games away. You're playing in the Conference League. You're playing Conference League football next season. We're playing Europa League. Have that. Okay. It's it's a good it's a good day. Okay, it's a good day. So we'll boy. see. Damn. All right. so well, well, Thursday. Let me get my notes down. Minute fifty. Oh, right. oh. He's fucking. How big is this notebook now? Like he's always making these <laughs> fucking notes, man. He's, he's gonna he's gonna publish that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, <this>. <laughs> yo, Look at this. yo, he's actually he's actually got the notes. He Look at this guy. He ain't playing. Is that your second? Is that your second line from a previous? No, third. This is the third line. Yeah, third. This is the third offense that he's committed. Is so he's, so I'm typing in. He said West Ham. West Ham are getting Europa League, and Spurs will be in the Conference League. That's what he said. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And listen, when it happens, I want you to bring these notes out. I want you to bring the notes out and go, Oh, yeah, you were right. I got this here. You West Ham will win the conference league. What Spurs will be in the conference league? We'll be in Europa League. Yeah, you were right when you said that. I've got that. Well done. I what, what's the to score gonna that. be first day, Lawless? Yeah, before we go. Oh, AZ Outmar. I'm gonna go 3 1 West Ham. I think they'll get a bit of a goal. Uh, and we'll be enough to get through the second leg as well, then. 
I think so. Yeah, I think so. It's we're, we're buzzing now, all guns blazing on that game. Mm. It's huge. It's huge, mate. I'm telling you, it's. It, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling you it. Never know if you win. If you win that, Declan Rice might stay. He might. Think, he might I, I think her. he wants Champions League football pots. I think. Nah, 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 man. Nah, 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 Come on. <laughs> yeah, but then he can win the Europa League. Yeah, winning the Europa League is a route into the Champions League. We come close. So you're telling me he needs to do a whole season in the Europa League to get potentially Champions League when he could just play Champions League straight away? In, it's not in, as simple in. as that. Why Why are you not so fucking... It is. You move to club, right? move club and no, you play Champions League football next season immediately. You're so you don't like, have to wait a whole season of potentially no, going no, all no, the way. Hilarious. It's never that simple when it's a West Ham player, but when it's an, a player at another club, it's so simple. Oh, yeah. sorry, yeah. they're going to be shit forever. Do I, do I forever. talk about Harry Kane every week and go, well, Harry Kane's going to leave. Well, Harry Kane's going to leave. When, like you how, many, how many times have we spoken about Declan Rice? How many times? <laughs> In every week. Every week. No, we don't. Every Everybody week. Every about. Every week. I wasn't even going to mention him today. I wasn't even going to mention him. Like, what are you talking about? We, we do. You're like, oh, no, we Declan Rice going to leave. We're like, oh, like uh, Arsenal. I see you drop points to uh, Southampton. Oh, what about when Declan Rice leaves, though? Like, you know what I mean? Let's just relax. What? All right, he's that's West Ham for now. And that's, that's tongue and cheek, and that's Potts. Potts basically saying, oh yeah, he might not be at West Ham for yeah. long. Tops, Tops cannot be. go. Tops, Potts cannot go ten minutes without mentioning fucking Declan Rice to Arsenal. Like well, their whole fan base. I, I hope for you, for your sake, he doesn't sign for Arsenal because then Potts is going to get to willingly speak about him every week, regardless, because he'll be wearing yeah, that shirt. Yeah, guess what? Former guess West Ham captain, and but that that's going to sting. He, and guess what? If he <laughs> flops, if he flops, that's going to sting them, mate. Because if he flops, yeah, but you rate him. He's not going to flop. What? Are you which, are you really think you really think that's writing him off now? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just is saying, that what you're going to do? Are you really going to do that to your former captain? Your former I, captain, you're going to wish what? on his on his downfall. I'm not, I'm not wishing. I'm saying if mm. it happens, it, it can happen. It can happen. I don't, I don't right? like. I don't like this from West Ham. Wrong man. fit. This is not what we're going to see. Wrong. It might not fit. It we'll might you, flop. It, if let's... you want, we'll give you some of our role players like we used to, like Nigel Winterburns, Davo Sukas, Ian Wrights at 39. You can, you can, Freddie Lundbergs. We'll give you some of them, man. Nah, we'll you take, take Saka. some of them. We'll take Saka. Right, Shit. listen, we're going to wrap we'll up. Even, you wouldn't even be... look at West Ham, bro. It'll be, gonna... it'll be a good backup player to Bowen, sir. <laughs> we're going to wrap up. Moyes um, out still. Big, big Six is about to kick off. Guys, Moyes out subscribe. still. Moyes <laughs> out still. <laughs> still saying Moyes out. I Guys, had a flip flop. <laughs> Subscribe. Flip Subscribe to West Ham Fan TV. Comment. Um, the link is in the description. Subscribe to Tap In Tobes. The link is in the description. And subscribe. Do you know what I'm saying? Dan, let them know about the show coming up. Actually, with the with the two boys on the right, just to let just give a give it a plug here. Let give it a plug. Man, love that man. <laughs> they want to see more of this. Tuesday, you will see us, man. You will see us, all three of us, and all the other guys. Oh. You'll see us on Race for Europe. A man United fan is getting it. A Man United fan is getting it. Yeah, he will, to be that, fair. Yeah. And he deserves to, actually, because he's been giving it to you. So, uh, yeah, he come join us on that pounds. tomorrow. Until then, big up in a bit, people. Peace. <laughs>